Good evening, lovely tubers. My name is the White Mexican, and welcome to Market Watch Investments. Tonight's video is going to be something very mixed emotions. So it took me a couple days to gather my thoughts, to put out the content that I'm releasing in this video. I know there's been many videos that have gone out on the platform regarding the game creators passing and some of them have been fantastic and I'm really thankful for all of the content creators out there that have put such meaningful thoughts into the work of their dedication videos for him. Really quick before I do this short market watch for you guys, I wanted to ask you guys, the viewers, a few questions. They are more personal questions but I'm genuinely interested in what your guys' thoughts are on these particular questions. And if you're comfortable, I would really appreciate it if you guys would comment below in this video or you guys can directly message me. I have links below to my Facebook answering them if it's a more private matter for you guys, whatever you guys are most comfortable with. But the first question is gonna be, what does Yu-Gi-Oh mean to each player? The second question is going to be the power and importance behind having a hobby, passion, vision, and dream. Now that doesn't have to be specifically Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh is one of my strongest passions hobby. I do have a vision and a dream for this channel which coincides with the game of Yu-Gi-Oh so I think that is co-relevant. Hence why I'm asking that question in particular. And the third is going to be your first memories of the game, where it all started for you. Now personally, I've mentioned this before and I will tell my personal testimony again, especially for this video. It was in 2002, I was living in Michigan at the time and it was my friend Josh McCall who was like a kid in my apartment complex in Farmington Hills, Michigan that I'd met that same year that got me into the game. I was for some reason with his older brother and I just remember driving in his blue Mustang to the store to get my first product which happened to be starter deck Pegasus and that was my first cards ever and it was game over after that. Eventually I got tins and booster packs and I have a plethora of memories that I could go into but for sanctity of making this a shorter video I'm just going to kind of cut it out at that. And then the last three things that I wanted to say are not so much questions, but they're more just statements uh, from me personally. And the first one is going to be staying thankful for all the amazing opportunities we have had access to because of the world of Yu-Gi-Oh that he created and shared with all of us. His legacy lives on through all of us. Let us always keep in mind how vital it is to represent his world in good standing order. We must remember to honor him, continue to contribute to his legacy. So with that getting out of the way, I wanted to briefly move into some cards specifically geared towards his passing. And the first is going to be the anniversary pack. So if you guys don't know about this, this was a special pack. All of the artwork was exclusively designed by the creator himself. And of course you can see his signature and a plethora of cards that have his printed signature here. Um, my personal favorite is going to be the anniversary art of Blue Eyes White Dragon. And um, if you'll notice in these anniversary cards, and I actually didn't know this until I actually started reading into the set, but there's no borders. There's no borders around the card arts artwork, which is unique to just these special cards that he released uh, his own artwork in and for these particular uh, cards and I'll go through a couple different ones. I'm not covering all of the signature signed like exclusive cards because there's, there's, there's too many of them and again I don't want to make this super long but these are the ones I'm just going to briefly touch over. So um, again this is going to be for collectability purposes so I'm only going to be briefly looking at, at these for near mint and of course I think these are going to have exponential growth even though it is very much a print signature, it is very much his signature and they are cards that he specifically drew himself for the game and hold just endless potential for collectability purposes and are just history merit is just unparalleled. So 
near mint market price for this for English copies uh, starting market price here is going to be about 191 bones and that's going to trickle up after that and these are all for onesie twosie stacks and that's just going to continue to trickle up to about 300 plus and then continue on only two pages availability so that's going to be for that variant next is going to be the red eyes from the anniversary pack Again, I'm only showcasing these two. There are several other Ultras, which was interesting about this because Dark Magician was left out. I believe the OCG variant of the Anniversary Pack had Dark Magician, which was actually this artwork right here, I believe, but we did not have it in the TCG. Dark Magician was cut, which was kind of interesting. But anyway, so uh, Red Eyes, which is my second favorite from this set. Really great artwork on here. Again, near mint exclusively prices is going to be about 97 bones, and then it's going to trickle up to about 100 bones plus. There is one single page of this here on TCGP, and none of them are stacks. So, incredible value on that. Next is going to be the Dark Magician variant. Now, these were exclusively ultra rares donning out of the jump and it was interesting because this just like mirrored blue eyes there was two separate variants produced in two different jump promos so this one is going to be the jump variant and this one for near mints is going to clock in around 151 bones and then quickly jumps to 350 these are both one stacks and for near mints apparently there's only two listings so this is almost out of market so that's pretty incredible there was another mirrored rarity same artwork again you can see the signature here um, from the jmps so it's interesting same rarity same artwork but and both very much uh, shonen jump ultra rare promos um just two different variants which is kind of interesting i know like apprentice dark apprentice illusion magician also had this kind of same setup as well so our market price for this one is going to be 125 and that's going to bottom out at 150 bones for near mint copies and there's only three listings of this variant moving on to blue eyes there's the jump variant the full-on spelled out jump near mint copies of this starting market price is going to be 81 bones then trickles up to 83 there is a place at right here for 95 bones and then looks like there's two pages of availability and that's only going to be uh, one playset for the first page of course there was another variant for the jmps ultra rare promos and these are going for um, apparently 175 for one copy of near mint and this is the only listing so it looks like probably the jmps variants seem to be a little bit lower on the market at least here for blue eyes next is going to be the the megaton 2019 gold circle tins uh, prismax secret rare variants now i talked about this briefly a couple videos back and it was kind of interesting that like i thought about these having value and then you know just out of the blue he he happened to pass and that was just devastating for all of us um and it really kind of like shone through the aspects of this particular investment which i thought was just really really kind of just like earth breaking that was really just completely insane to me so um if we look at the this the sold listing history here these are selling so i mean today it's you know 11 july and you see there's one copy sold here 10 copies three copies one copy five copies and the list goes on and on and on so they're not necessarily selling in bulk there's only a couple bulk buys here a lot of these are onesies just for people to have to people have a play set of nice looking prismatic secrets now Granted, these were like highly overproduced in the tins and everyone got them in the promos, but that's fine. These still are very much very aesthetically pleasing and personally, I, I do like the Prismatic Secrets even though they are tin promos. Again, 2019 is going to go, it's behind us. It's going to continue to get older and these are going to continue to articulate value. Now, I know there is Shonen Jump Ultra Rare variants of all guard cards of the same artwork with his signature as well which you know are harder to obtain they're older and they're holding more value and they will hold more value but because these are still so attainable and they are high rarity prismatic secret it's going to take them longer to articulate value but they are still very much in my personal opinion in white mexican theory the most aesthetically pleasing variants of the god cards in this artwork by him with his print signature and that's personally why i have invested in multiple copies of these um, for a bit starting market price is still roughly around the same for raw it's gonna be around four bones plus 
for near mint copies exclusively and there is going to be an 18 stack here and then it controls the trick call up and there's a couple other stacks so that is going to be raw next is going to be slifer just like raw we see the history trend people are eating this up they're buying it up they are taking into the fact that he's gone and he's never coming back and we're never going to have any more cards manufactured potentially with his signature i mean i guess technically konami has some right or maybe all of the rights now that he's passed to the card game to completely just do whatever they want with the printing of the cards and maybe they will bring out new professionals um, where they'll copy his signature onto these cards but for now in this game state of of, of Yu-Gi-Oh! This is it. They, these are not going to be manufactured anymore. And he's gone and what he printed on, he printed on and then that's that's going to be dis distinguished after that. So um, it's going to be interesting. Time will definitely tell on these. But that's an interesting aspect, a very unfortunate reality of the investment world. But it is very much a reality that we are serving in now. So you can see here about like, you know, a couple stack, a couple stacks here, two stacks of nine and then a two Z stack. And they're all pretty much ones after that, but it's consecutively selling. People want to get at least one copy of all of these God cards to have just to collect some people like myself even more. Slifer is going to be a little bit more, uh, a little less expensive. It's about roughly two to three ish bones, give or take. And there's again, pretty good bulk still available. So I highly recommend if not bulk prices, you guys get at least one of each of these because in the long haul, I really do believe that this is a fantastic hold investment. Obelisk is going to be next and the same thing we can see pretty much every day there's a couple pop sales here and it looks like there's a little bit more consistency with the bulk prices for Obelisk but it's selling and again these are not going to last forever and they're still extremely affordable. Um, same like Slifer it's roughly around 2-ish 1 to one to two ish bones all across the board for near mints even for bulk prices again there are ultra rare variants jump promos for all the guide cards they're just significantly more affordable um, and less on the market these ones there's more on the market they're more affordable and they just look aesthetically better to me because they are very much prismatic secret rare now if you can get over them being highly overproduced as tin promos everyone that got the tins got these again but these are gonna get older and older and older and we've seen it many times from a lot of the generation one tin promo secrets they are just they go up in value as time goes on next is gonna be unity so unity does not have his signature but it still represents a really key concept of the game and his natural belief in the game and it was about good sportman sportsmanship and friendship and a whole bunch of like aspects that really shine through with this card's artwork and we can see here just like those signature cards this card is selling players are flocking towards these investments and it's that's kind of just how it is it's what we're living in now um again i'm gonna be looking at near mint copies here of this and it's gonna start starting market price is gonna be around 14 bones that trickles up to about 15. a lot of these are one stacks there's a two stack here and then the first place that is gonna clock in at a whopping 70 bones this has always been relatively more pricier card because it has the anime artwork of all these main characters but now with his passing, this just is going to continue to rapidly increase in my personal opinion. And just the same with Yujo Friendship. So again, friendship, good sportsmanship, and this positive belief that things are going to be okay if you work hard and you're making the right decisions in life are all huge key aspects of the creator's vision for the game. And that is depicted very beautifully in the artwork of Yujo Friendship here. This as well, of course, is selling very, very well. This is um, the more pricier out of uh, this set. There's also a trap card as well. Um, and this is going for really good money and it's selling uh, consecutively. So starting market price for Lightly Plates here is gonna be about 56, uh, 
around, yeah, around 56, and it's gonna trickle up, and then it's continue to trickle up. Now, this is the whole thing. Like, this is for near mint, lightly played. I think I took off my filters. This is for everything. There's a two stack here. Everything else is a onesie stack, and then it bottoms out at 500. I think this is for a sealed for all three of them. So, just food for thought. Again, I am full with just complete humility and sorrow and just so many emotions and again I apologize it took me several days to push out some new content mostly because I really wanted to figure out how I wanted to communicate my personal dedications to him and just how much this game means to me personally thank you so much for joining me tonight I hope you guys are making some fantastic Yu-Gi-Oh! investments yourself. This has been a showcasing by The White Mexican, and I will see you in the next video. Watashi no ichiban nihonjin tomodachi. Domo arigato gozaimashita. Mada jikai.